Hello everyone, Jeff and Jay here with Jay's Big Adventure. Um, we're headed up to Yellowstone tomorrow for just a couple day uh, uh, ride up through the Yellowstone National Park. So I wanted to check the bike over this morning and found out my brake pads on the front are just about gone. So we're gonna change those. To do that, we're going to have to remove some of the brake fluid from the reservoir here. And I'm gonna remove these three T15 Torx head bolts and suck some fluid out so that we can make some room. I'll show you more about that later. But here is the old pad and here is the new pad. So you can see I've pretty much gotten my wear out of that one. So brake fluid is really caustic. So to do this, I'm going to wrap the, the uh, reservoir with a rag and then I've got the paint protected here. If I would happen to spill some, hopefully I'll be able to get it off before it, before it uh, eats the paint. We're gonna start with removing these three screws and sucking out some brake fluid. These are all the tools that we need to do this job. This is a Torx T15 bit. Actually works on the caliper bolts and on the reservoir bolts, even though uh, these are actually three millimeter Allen head set screws, but that uh, works just fine. And a couple screwdrivers so we can gently pry the caliper pucks back into the caliper. As the brake pads wear, it pulls fluid down out of the reservoir to make up that space. What we're gonna do is spread those pucks apart so we can slide the new pads in because the new pads have more material than the old ones. That's all we need. I now have the brake fluid reservoir cover off and I'm just going to use this big syringe to suck some brake fluid out of the reservoir. Okay, I've now sucked some brake fluid out of the reservoir and uh, now when I compress the pistons back into the calipers I will have room. If you do not do this when you push the pistons back into the calipers this will overflow it will spill onto the paint and it goes downhill from there so don't do that. All right our next step is to remove these two bolts which will just take this cover off and then we're going to pull this pin out, which is what holds the pads in place. And you can see right here, there's a little clip that goes through this post to keep that, that, that pin from sliding out. So we're going to remove these two screws, take the cover off, and then pull that clip out. And then this pin will just slide right out. And then the pads will just slide right out this way. So I've got the retaining clip and the retaining pin out. And you can see, here's the pad, okay? Here's the rotor and here's the other pad. And what we need to do is we need to compress these pistons back into the bore because the new pads are thicker than the old ones. They're not gonna fit. So we've gotta compress those back into the bore. So what I'm gonna do, put this back in here just for a second and I'm going to gently pry, put a screwdriver in here between the rotor and the pad and gently pry those, those pucks back into the cylinder bores. Okay, so I have the, the anti-squeal shim onto the new brake pad. We're just going to install that into the caliper. It slides right in. So now, got to do the same thing to this one. Okay, so I have installed the two new pads. I'm going to take the retaining pin and look for the hole on the end here because we're going to need that. Just going to slide that into here. Okay, I've reinstalled the rattle shield and the two retaining bolts. And these are also, it's actually a hex nut, but a T15 Torx wrench works just fine, which is what you need for up on the uh, brake fluid reservoir. So I've got those back installed, and now all I have to do is do the other side. Okay, last step is to double check our work, make sure that our fluid level is where it should be, and we are good right at the full line. We've got the screws all tightened down again. The last step is to seat the brake pads against the rotors. Remember, we pry the brake pads away from the rotor to get them to slide in. 
but now we've got to make sure that those pads are reseated. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this brake lever and okay, there, now it's firm again. If you don't do this, that first time you go up to a stop, this the lever is going to come all the way to the grip. It's going to be a little, a uh, little terrifying. So make sure you pump that a couple times. Make sure that you are good to go, and we are. And so now the last step is a good test drive.